Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how to make digital stickers in Canva. Head to Canva. So to set up our document to make these stickers, you can head over to the left side panel up at the top and click create. Or you can also go to these icons underneath the search bar and click on custom size. When I make digital stickers, I make my document a square. So this document is going to be 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. And after you have in your dimensions, click create new design. So once we design these stickers and we are about to download them, we're going to download them as transparent PNGs. But in order to do that in Canva, you do need Canva Pro. So if you currently have a free account in Canva, you would need to upgrade to Canva Pro in order to save your stickers as transparent PNGs. In this video, I will be making four summer themed digital stickers. So to get started, head over to the left side panel and click on elements. So over in the side panel, you can search in the search bar to find what elements you want to use to create your stickers. So before recording this video, I actually planned out how I wanted the stickers to be designed. So in my recently used elements, I have all of the elements that I use to create the stickers. So that's where I'm going to go to get all of my elements. But I will type in this search bar so you can see what that looks like once the elements come up. So since these are summer themed, you can put in words that relate to summer. So if we put in beach and under graphics, if you click see all, you can scroll through and find whichever one you want to use. But back in the main elements panel, I'm going to go under recently used and click see all. So basically what I'm doing is taking these elements and combining them together to create a new sticker. So I'm going to grab all of those elements I'm going to use to create the first sticker. So here are the five elements that I'm going to use to design our first sticker. So here's like a beach scene with a surfboard in the sand. And what I'm going to do is take the bucket and the seashells and put it on the sand. And then I'm going to take the sun and put it up where like the sky would be. And then I'm going to take this color piece and put it behind everything to make it the sky. And before I put it behind everything else, I'm going to change it to a light blue color. So in the upper toolbar, you can head to the color picker and under document colors, if you click on add a new color, pick a light blue. And what I also had to do with this color piece is duplicate it so that it covered the whole background. So with it still selected, hit control D on your keyboard to duplicate it. So I'm going to select both of these blue elements and I'm going to click on group above them. Then I'm going to right click on it, click on layer and click send to back. So now I'm going to select everything by clicking, holding and dragging with my mouse to create a rectangle and dragging it over everything on the page. And once you have that rectangle over everything on the page, you can release it. And now all of these elements are selected and you can move them all together at the same time. And I'm going to put it in the center of the document and then I'm going to enlarge it to make it fit. And so I created this sticker pretty quickly, but now I'm going to go in and kind of fine tune where I want things to be. And something I like to do when I'm designing my stickers is I like to pick elements that I am able to change the color of. So if you click on any element, up in the upper toolbar, it'll show you if it's able to have its colors changed. And so if the colors show up once you click on the element, you are able to change the colors. And so whatever part of the element that you wanna change its color to, you just click on the circle in the upper toolbar and then the color picker will appear. So I'm going to click on this color and in the color picker, I'm just going to pick a lighter color for the sand. And once you have all of your elements placed how you want them, you can either leave them as they are, or you can add text. If you wanted to put something that said beach day or beach vibes or anything like that, you can add text to it by hitting T on your keyboard. 
and putting in what you want your sticker to say, but I'm going to leave it with no text. And so here's our first sticker. So right above this page, there's a small icon that says add page. You can also go underneath the document and there is a larger button that says add page. So I'll click on that. And so now onto our second sticker. And again, I'm going into that left side panel, going to my elements. And again, I have my recently used ones here. And another cool thing about using these elements is that when you click on one, a magic recommendation shows up. And if you click on see all, it'll give you elements that are similar to the ones you're using. And for the last part to this sticker, I'm going to need a circle, so I'm going to hit C on my keyboard to bring up one. And so with this sticker, it's basically going to be the sun with some waves in front of it and these birds. So I'm going to click on my circle and in the upper toolbar, click on the color picker. I'm going to click on add a new color. And so when you click on add a new color, there are two options. You can either choose a solid color or you can pick gradient. So that's what I'm going to do. So when you click on gradient, it gives you two colors. You can add more colors to make the gradient more colorful, but I'm only going to stick with two. Also underneath the colors, it shows you the style of gradient, linear gradient or circular gradient. And so for the colors, it already had this yellow selected. So I'm going to change this green to like an orange color. So to change the gradient color, just click on the color you want to change. In my case, it's this green. And then I can use the slider bar to pick the color that I want. So this color is more like a reddish orange. Once you have your colors that you're going to use in your gradient, you can click back in your document. And so with this sun, the yellow is on the left and the orange is on the right. And all I'm going to do is rotate the circle so that way the orange is at the bottom and the yellow is at the top. So with your circle selected, Use the little rotate icon to rotate it until the orange is at the bottom and the yellow is at the top or whichever way you want to have your gradient facing. And so now I'm going to take my wave and put it in front of the sun. So as I moved my wave near the circle, it went behind the circle. So in order to fix that, you can right click on your element, click on layers, and I'm going to click bring to front. But if you have more layers than just two or three, you may want to click on show layers and the layers panel will show up. And then once that layers panel shows up, the layer that's selected will be purple. Click, hold and drag it where you need it to go. So in my case, I'm going to click, hold and drag it and move it above the circle. And so now that wave is in front of the sun. Another thing I'm going to do with this wave element is I'm going to change the color of it. So with that still selected, head up to the upper toolbar and I'm going to click, there's two colors here. You may not be able to see it. There's a darker teal green and then white. I'm going to leave the white as it is, but I'm going to change this darker teal color to more of a blue. And then one more thing I'm going to do with this wave is I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit control D on my keyboard to duplicate it. And while this element is selected, in the upper toolbar, I'm going to click on Flip. And I'm going to click Flip Horizontal. So now the wave is facing the opposite direction. And then I'm going to take the wave and move it to the left of the first wave. And I'm going to move it a little bit lower than the first wave. And then the last thing I'm going to do with this sticker is take these birds. And again, as I'm moving it over the circle, it actually went underneath. So I'm going to right click go to layer and click on bring to front. I don't want to use all these birds. So what I'm going to do is go to the upper toolbar and click on this icon here, which is for crop. And then you can crop down the element. So I'm going to crop it so it's just the bottom two. And once you're done cropping, hit enter. Then you can make it smaller or larger, move it around to wherever you want it to be. And so now what I'm going to do is select everything on this page, make it larger and make a few adjustments to the elements. And so here's our second sticker. So underneath this page, I'm going to click on the add page button. And so our third page, I'm actually going to go up to the first page and copy that sun that we used and paste it onto this page and then add text. So I'm going to take this sun here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit control C on my keyboard 
or you can also right click with your mouse, click on copy, and go back down to page 3, right click, and click paste, or you can do control V on your keyboard. So now we have our sun. And this is a very easy sticker. All I'm going to do is enlarge the sun to pretty much fit the document. Place it in the center. Hit T on my keyboard to bring up a text box. And I'm going to write the word suns out. And that text is going to go in the middle of the sun. But first, we need to change the font. With the text box selected, head to the upper toolbar and go to the font picker. And under recently used in the fonts, I think it's the Fredoka font. So I'm going to select that. So I'm going to highlight the text in the text box. In the upper toolbar, I'm going to click on this icon that has a lowercase a and an uppercase a to make all of the letters uppercase. So this was not the same font that I used the first time when I was designing these. So I went back to the other document where I was designing these stickers and I found out which font it is. It's called Scripter. So up in the search bar, that's what I'm going to type in. And then I'm going to click on that. Okay, so also with the text selected in the upper toolbar, I'm going to click on the spacing icon and I'm going to decrease the line spacing. And I'm also going to change the text color. And I believe I picked like a darker orange color, something similar to this. After I have that how I want it, I'm going to increase the size of the text so that it fits within this circle. And so here's our third sticker. At the bottom of this page, I'm going to click on the add page button. If you made it this far through this video, first, thank you. And secondly, I wanted to let you know that I've launched memberships on this channel. As of right now, there are two levels in the membership. If you want to get priority reply to comments, loyalty badges, emojis, and exclusive member-only videos from me, consider joining the membership. I will leave a link in the description bar if you'd like to join. So now we're going to make our fourth and final sticker. And so I'm going to go back up to page one and copy something else from off of that page to use in the designing of this last sticker. So I'm going to take these blue color swatches Copy them and paste them on page 4. So I clicked on the first swatch, and to select the second one, I'm going to press and hold shift on my keyboard while selecting with my mouse. I'm going to hit Ctrl C on my keyboard to copy, scroll down to page 4, and press Ctrl V on my keyboard to paste. And the difference between duplicating and copying and pasting is that duplicated just duplicates it right on that page. And with copying and pasting, yes, it does the same thing by duplicating it, but like in what I just did in page one, I copied it from there and then I was able to paste it on a different page. But if I would have clicked Control D to duplicate it, it would have just duplicated it right there on page one. So now that we have our blue swatches on this last page, I'm going to move it to the center of the page. And so now with this sticker, it's basically going to be different little fireworks and then the word celebrate in the middle. So I'm going to head over to the left side panel in my elements. And so what I'm going to do before I rearrange these little fireworks is I'm going to select these blue swatches and I'm going to lock them so that they don't move while I'm trying to move the fireworks over them. So select both of those. I'm going to right click and click on lock. And so now this will stay still as I move these around. So now what I'm going to do is take these little fireworks, duplicate them, make them smaller, rotate them to make a fireworks display. So now that I have my fireworks pretty much where I want them, I'm going to select all of my fireworks. And I'm going to make them a little bit smaller so they fit within the blue swatches. So once I have those where I want them, I'm going to hit R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. And so now I'm just going to resize it so that it's a thin, narrow rectangle. 
With that rectangle still selected, I'm going to go to the upper toolbar to the color picker. And I'm going to pick one of these red colors that was in the fireworks. Okay, so now I'm going to hit T on my keyboard to bring up a text box. And I'm going to type the word celebrate. So I'm going to highlight that text and I'm going to head to the upper toolbar and click on text color. I'm going to choose white. Then with that text box still selected, I'm going to head up to the font picker. And I know that the font that I used was League Spartan. So I'm going to pick that. And then what I'm also going to do is head back to that upper toolbar and click on the lowercase uppercase A, which is the uppercase button, which will change all of my letters to all uppercase. And I believe when I was designing it the first time, I think I increased the spacing in between the letters. So head to spacing and under letter spacing, I'm going to increase it and you can increase it or decrease it however much you want. And now what I'm going to do is enlarge the text box by clicking on either one of these corner nodes and enlarging it till it fits the rectangle. And so here's our fourth sticker. So once you have all of your stickers designed, now it's time to download them. In the upper right hand corner, click on share. Click on download. So the file type that they suggested was PNG, and that's the file type we're going to save our images as. So underneath the file type, there are some options you can pick, and you want to make sure that you check transparent background, and then hit download. So when you keep all pages selected during the downloading process, it'll download all of those images into a compressed or zipped folder. So here's that zipped folder with all four of our stickers. And if you created a whole set that you were maybe selling on Etsy, you can upload this compressed or zipped folder right to Etsy. I've done it and I also have a video that I will leave linked in the description about how to sell digital stickers on Etsy. I'm going to insert a clip of me using these digital stickers in one of my digital planners. So this concludes the video on how to make digital stickers in Canva. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Remember to check the description box for any resources that may have been mentioned in the video, as well as the link to the video on how to sell digital stickers on Etsy, and also a link to joining the channel's memberships if you decide to. And as always, thanks for watching.